What's up YouTube, calling from a T20 here, welcome back to the Napoleon Total War French campaign for Europe. How I say that differently every episode. And we're going against the Ruskies in Lithuania. We've already pushed all the way to Petersburg. After this, this is probably going to be my last battle till the end of winter. And I'll just continue to hold my provinces because we do not want to fight the Russians in winter because we'll lose a lot of men. And there's a lot of territory and your men don't recover as fast. Anyway, let's go to the battle. See you on the battle map. Okay, welcome to the battle map, everybody. So, we got a ton of Ruskies in the town here. Here's Lithuania. We got a town hall. Got a bunch of Ruskies. We haven't actually seen the Russian army as a significant threat yet in this campaign. We fought the British, we fought the Austrians, and we fought the Prussians, but we've not seen the Russians. So, this will be quite fun. You know, the Russians are kind of notorious for uh, their winters. You know, it's funny, the invading army, because we look at Operation Barbarossa was talking about earlier in one of the earlier parts here. Like, that was the worst Russian winter in, like, years. And it always happens when the invading army. Like, you're not fighting the Russians, you're fighting the Russian winter. And if you live in a country like Russia... Well, I got a lot of these guys. If you live in a country like Russia, right, and you're used to these cold winters, and you know how to fight in them, and you, you're good at winter warfare, then you're going to do pretty good against an army that's not used to fighting. Actually, I'm going to do what I did last time with my guys. We're going to hopefully get another Spike Masker. Sounds kind of bad, Spike Masker? So I might think I'm like talking about... uh. I don't know. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move one more line of infantry down here. It's a little hard to see in the trees, but that's so we have a zoom feature. And these guys are... I'm just gonna hold these guys in reserve and plug in a gap if I need. Let's grab our cavalry here. Napoleon's actually in a pretty good position. I'm just going to put him behind this tree to give him maximum cover from any stray cannonballs. That'd be a disaster if Napoleon got wounded and sent back to Paris. In fact, he's going to be right behind the tree. I'll turn our cannons to fire at will off and start the battle. These guys are going to put down their stakes. We're just going to watch this because we've got nothing better to do right now. Okay, they're going to put down their stakes. Look at that. Not very straight. I'm going to go back. Now what I really need to do right now is move my guys out so the cannons can actually properly function. And actually shoot. My Volta gears are actually going to be ready for this. So the Russians are going to meet some French artillery. As you can see, my artillery is almost vetted to the max. Does that sound right? Oh god, I'm tired. Okay, I'm always saying I'm tired. I don't want to be like some uh, a commentary you know that talks about his uh, sleeping pattern a lot. Anyway, I don't have a sleeping pattern issue. It's just been a long week. It's always a long week. Anyway, I'm recording these mostly on uh, weeknights. That's a little different. I usually record it on the weekends, but I've just been playing so much of a certain game that it makes it hard to actually uh, record. Anyway, turn it to the area. Alright, well, we got seven chevrons on these guys, six on these, seven on these guys, and four on those. Even the Russians do have Cossack cavalry. I have not beaten the Russian campaign in Napoleon. I beat it on Empire. You know, I just like this game, to be honest. It's a very good game, I think. Just in kind of like, this took Empire and made... Like, I love the Empire campaign, don't get me wrong. But this just took Empire and made it fast-paced. It's great. Why are you sitting watching these guys march toward my... I mean, it looks like we are shooting at something. Prefer to focus fire on these cavalry, though. You see Napoleon's balloon right there. Cinematic zoom with N, by the way. And we're not hitting anything. Okay, well. Okay, this could be very bad. Wow, they're. Talk about realism. Russians outnumbering the French. So 
See, that's why I kept some reserves. They're not pushing as heavy with the infantry. There's a ton of these Russians. It's another thing the Russians had. Oh my gosh. Oh, sketchy. No, just fire it, Will, guys. We need to, uh... It should have them all simultaneously shoot. I really hope I arm. I didn't get these guys at the best angle. Okay. I once again made a mistake. God, what's up with me and making a lot of mistakes in Total War? Like, my Rome battle was poorly. Very poorly managed. The Russians are coming out of nowhere. Yeah, these are Cossacks. Oh, oh crud, they're coming right for this guy to get a square. Why aren't you on fire at will? I don't even think my cannons are causing any damage. Everybody should be on cannons to build right now. Have you even killed a single Russian right in front of you? Please open fire. What the hell's going on over here? Besides the fact we're getting shot to... Oh. These are the Russian arms history now. I actually, actually haven't seen these guys before. Apparently my cavalry drove those guys off. We are being charged. Is it good? Oh my god, look how many Russians there are! Holy shit! Shoot! Fire! Fire! Damn it, turn the flank! Holy... Oh my god. Oh my god, the cannons could fall completely. Shoot! Oh my god, we're losing the cannons. Rally! Fight to the death, man! For France! Oh my god. Okay. Run, cannons. Retreat. Wow, we are just getting charged everywhere. Where's my cavalry? I really need my Sir, horses. Where are you? Sir, Why the hell are you in the middle of nowhere? Jeez, don't underestimate the Russians, guys, like I've done. I said withdraw, damn it. Ah, oh, I just lost my veteran squad. Oh, there goes one of the veteran artilleries. Constant fighting on this flank here. Napoleon, inspire a unit. I can't even see my units. Ah. Damn it, Napoleon. We have actually set up an effective firing line and are starting to kill a lot of these Russians over here. Napoleon is in some danger. Where are my cavalry at? Route these Russians. In fact, my cavalry's in the woods here. Route them. These guys are down there. Look at all the dead Our guys. Running, oh god. Okay. Napoleon. Okay. We're now reforming our lines here. Napoleon safe that all that that's all that matters. Anyway, so we kind of formed they broke our center, so I just formed into two flanks here. Their general's dead, so we're kind of just forming into two flanks and shooting them and they're kind of in the middle. That's a lot of damn Russians. They caused a lot of casualties. We even lost two of my artillery guns. I don't have the numbers to 
take these battles. That's the sad thing. Napoleon only lost one man, though. Wow. Jeez, three men? I need my fullest legion. Look at all the dead rush. It's just like... Wow, that was bloody as hell. Okay. I'll see you back on the campaign map the results. Okay, I only lost 700. I pretty much lost half my force. But they lost their full force. It's late September. Wow, I gotta like retrain. Really? Really, you think... You <sighs> Hilarious. Yeah, that's the one bad thing. I got like my Polish Legion mix in when I need him up here. I'm gonna let you surrender after what you just put my men through. Oh, why is there a freaking tax office? Oh, Poland has to have something they can give me. Sorry, but Napoleon needs this more than you do. So when Napoleon lose pretty much all his line infantry. Need some eight pounders here. Some more line, we could really use some more cavalry also. So I guess you could call that a almost like a how do you say it? What am I trying to say here? I'd say a beard. A beard. Sweet. I'm already working on Oh well, we got the money, why not? Extra wealth. Be happy everyone. Fourteen K. That's a lot. Ah oh yes, we're also working on our war up here. I think we're gonna take Wales. Are we? no, we're not gonna. We're kind of. We're waiting. We're building up our forces. Get to our port here. Ah, cool. Okay. Well, what a bloody fight indeed. I lost so many men. This army is. You know, I really need some. I need some uh, lancers because there's too many. I'm not gonna disband them right now in case I need them, but I need, can't just go in there with a bunch of line infantry and expect to win every time. Can I change this to a barracks? I don't care about a factory. Well, that kind of broke the Russians down there. Anyway. We're gonna leave this settlement because we don't really care. See, this thing about the Russian settlements, they really don't give you anything. It's early October, the snow is gonna fall. Crimean? No, we don't want that republic again. Thanks, Ottomans. They kind of box you out now from helping me, but that's what you get for not helping me, so. Good, let's end a turn. Any day now, that guy might get here. Like, part 16. Whoa, no! Okay. I'm gonna lose this. Do I have defenses? No. I'd laugh if I'd won that. So, go, 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 go. Train our artillery, train our militia here. Still waiting for that. Our men are still retraining. Slowly. A giant British army landed in France, which I can't stop. You know what? I'm not very happy with you, Brits. You want to do that to me? I'll do that to you. I mean, 
There is absolutely no reason why I can't take whales. Because frankly, they can't stop me. Hell, let's just take London. Ah, oh, I am building up a magistrate. I'll always take more money. There's our research coming. I need a steam power factory. Working on the passports. Ten plus. Ooh. So I need a a bigger factory. I, I can't remember if I'm upgrading that somewhere. I might be. We might see it one of these days. I'm worried about the Russians though. You know what you could do, spy? I know you came all the way from like in the middle of nowhere, but let's try to assassinate this guy. Which you have a decent chance of actually doing. Also. These three men and that cavalry are going to go take out the uh, the threat there. I'm like worried the longer I let my... Oh god, if they come take Paris, how embarrassing would that be? I'm not surrender. That's a duke. Here's a problem. Good. At least you're in a decent position. I need more spies. Okay, Paris, because they could literally just march in and take you. Oh, look at these Brits. They think they're going to stop me from taking this. Ha ha. Ooh. Got Highlanders. I'll show you those guys, don't worry. Just finish off this army. We don't need the Brits to... Uh, I don't need them messing around. Thank you. I now own whales. I'm just converting everything to barracks is it's great. What's that? Great Britain, you're running out of money because I'm taking all your territory? Got some random protector. Yeah, that's right. Where are these Russians at? Uh, if I just get some cavalry, I know I'll be able to take them out. And if their general god, I know I can definitely take them out. Our Polish Legion just regrouped with Napoleon. It's now early November. I believe December the snow falls. Better kick my guys out of the port. Yeah, we're screwed. I'm sorry, but the morale is just going to kill me there. I will fight them, though. I'm going to hire a general in Paris once my army is retraining. One more turn. Really embarrassing that. I mean, that's the problem with my. <gasps> really? He's, he's got an attacking general. I've got plenty of money. I'll hire 10 more generals. You know what? You want to play that game, Great Britain? I'll play that game. Assassinate the Duke. You know, we're gonna hire a general also. Give us the best general we have. I like the exact same. Oh, Poland. Hold on. Poland got the cannons. We're Napoleon's army and the Polish Legion just regrouped. Looks like I actually have too many guys. I'm going to send these two of these guys south. Go deal with the Russian threat here. Actually, hell, just meet up with the guys. Just meet up here. And you guys can take them out. I think they still haven't repaired. The Russians are so poor they can't even repair the buildings in the region. I wonder, can't, is there a way to see your list? Compare yourself to other people, like in the other Total Wars. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, Napoleon might want to push on to Minsk. Audible! 
because he's got the troops, and the Russians really don't have anything. This would be a great base. Like I said, a great base. They do have a military encampment here already, and that will help speed things up. The cannons will have to go further, though. And the Brits have a giant swath of territory, which isn't good. Hoping they wait a turn. Meanwhile, I'm going to get these guys out and back. I'm also going to go right here. And they had a general there. That is not smart. These guys are really unhappy because... Yeah. They are. I think we're almost ready to conquer the map here. I keep wanting to push and push and push. But it's just not gonna happen that way. I need to like plan out certain... <sighs> Damn, it's the, it's the unrest here. I'm gonna get some militia here. It might honestly help me to have a, a, a theater just to help with the happiness in that area. I mean, even these, like, they don't even, they haven't even built up anything. We're gonna get to Moscow before they have anything, really. I mean, nothing's really stopping me from up here besides wait, waiting for my, uh, Lancers to come. I want, like, two more. In fact, let's just train the Cheshires right now. At least have something, because, I mean, that's a pretty... Eh, we'll, we'll take one more of these guys out, because... Some people say I don't have balanced armies, or one person did. Good. Let's end one more turn. I really hope the Brit doesn't attack my uh, Paris until I get those men, because that'd be embarrassing how good they pass their turn. I do need to end the part, though, as soon as the end of this turn hits. I just want to see where the British went. They didn't move. They foolishly gave me enough time to build an army. I have no idea what that means. Anyway, they're going to give us some more time to build up, so I'm going to build another army just because I have the funds. Got the cavalry, let's get some artillery. Can't wait to put my can in such a bad position no. in that last part. Let's end this with the assassination of the Duke. Failed. Look at Russia now. You move anywhere and you you suffer winter attrition. <laughs> they turned rebel. Oh God. Um. We'll be back. Just get the cannons to Lithuania. Look at that. Like, down here it's not bad. That's mainly because of the issues there. I think Great Britain, you know, Scotland, certain parts, but not too bad. I do want to take this, but this army would probably get massacred. Leave that line of infantry. Anyway, this car to one side. Let me enjoy this part. We will take this rebel territory back. It's kind of funny the Russians got overthrown. They didn't fix anything. This guy sucks. Yeah, so they didn't really infiltrate anything. They do have a bunch of like land there and some massars and stuff, but I'm sure we're, the main plan is to keep pushing through southern Russia. I mean, literally, we're coming to the point where we can just like take these two cities, and then Napoleon's going to push on to Solnitsk or something, and then we're going to go and over good with this army Napoleon will do the final push on Moscow and that should be the end of them forever so that's a thing and then we're gonna take back the British territory probably in the next part or two and then we're gonna take England then we're gonna go down here and just take them off Gibraltar and then I'll be happy because I've destroyed everyone who came to war with me anyway, according to you two on Jordan.